Hello, what's up? Welcome to this channel. In this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to use motion control on the CMU Wii U emulator. What? You say you don't have a PS4 controller or a Nintendo Switch Pro controller? Well, that's okay. I got you covered. Your boy got you. I'm using an Xbox One controller. And uh, yes, I know the struggle. We're going to use actually our phone for the motion controls and, po and Pokemon. And... The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, guys. I know the dungeons and whatnot. And with any further, guys, let's hop to my phone before we hop to my desktop. Let me show you what programs you're gonna need. The tutorial to get started. See you then. All right, guys, as we have my phone right now, the first program we're gonna need is called Sensor Kinetics. You go into Play Store, I already search for it, Sensor Kinetics. And the first program right here, click on it. And install when it's done installing guys open the program up and it's gonna show you those kinds of things just put click on consent start it it's gonna give you some you know advice thingy just start it and when you see gyroscope we we'll see gravity sensor promixity and those and in case you don't have a gyroscope on your phone probably it's old whatnot uh, the program gonna actually use the accelerometer and the mag magnetometer to actually uh, emulate a uh, Arc gyroscope so you're good to go if you have this installed guys just minimize it and you to go you, you're good to go the next program guys we gonna download from uh, outside the google play store but it's okay it's i've tested myself and they're good to go we're going for search we're going to search for motion source apk just as, as you see here on my screen it's my host search history click on it you will be here on this website, scroll it bit down and you can see semi hooked UDP pad motion data provider setup SSH nuke. Click on it and scroll. Can I make it bigger? There we go. Scroll till you see the hold up. What is it here? Till you see Android motion source server provide just motion data from your phone sensor. You can, if you have an older phone, guys, if you have an older phone go for i go do like that if you have an older phone guys go for motion source 1.1.2 and if you have like a later phone a pixel 7 plus or like a samsung s23 ultra and so on go for the 64-bit version and anyways if you even go if you let's say you download the motion source uh, motion source 1.1.2 and your phone is a little bit newer it's going to say it's not compatible so mine is a newer phone i'm going to go for the 64 bit it's downloaded done after we have downloaded the application guys go to your my files it's like where you where you download your files you see i already download once click on it and it's going to tell you do you want to install this app install it's going to give you google play protect unsafe app blocked motion source android and so on click on more and install anyway because this app is very important this app going to help you to get the motion control open it it's going to say it's for all the phone but it's going to work what i need to do now guys there's a, a couple of lists on it select the, this one that's down here where i marked an orange and start the server minimize it from here out guys we're going to hop to my desktop and we're going to get the last program and from there i'm going to show you what you're gonna need to do. All right, guys, as you're in my desktop right now, we need two more programs for this tutorial. One is PEDEX and one is CMU Hook. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you don't have to search and go trial and errors. So we're gonna de decompress uh, PEDEX. It's up to you. You wanna use 7-zip, you wanna use the standard one in the Windows. I always use the standard one in case I can. Replace, yeah. Just do that, decompress it, and you're good to go. Here it is. Just put it down there and semi hook as well. Just go on it uh, here. Extract all, extract, and we're good to go. Put it just down here, and those we can just remove. So now what we need to do, guys, is to open a test just like that. Let's close this. The program will look like this. And what we need to do, guys, keep in mind: open Motion Source, the Motion Source app, and type in. As you remember from the tutorial, the orange marked numbers inside here. So for me, it's 192 and it's 168. It's 8 and it's 22. You click on start and it should come up DSU01, BTH, DS, DS4 and those double click on it and this program is is only 
the purpose of this program is only to see if your computer is actually getting motion control guys and yes it does for me and in the in the application as well guys you can you can you can choose between like vertical and horizontal when you're going to use it close that and if, if all that works as far as right now guys close this now we need to take um take those files keystone dhll and semi-hook dll you don't need this one delete it if you want to take those two um copy close go wherever you put your semi folder i put it in documents it's right here semi double click so i already install install it just do this and paste them in and close semu now when you open semu when you install semi hook for the first time down here guys gonna be like download just click on download and it's gonna download like four files and you're good to go from there guys we're going back to semu and this step is very important go to option gamepad motion source it's not gonna look like this it's gonna more look like this the first slot it's gonna look disconnected right do as I said, it's gonna look like this the first one. Go like this and click. It's gonna look like this disconnected. DSU1 disconnected, it's gonna be like, and by slot, close it. Then the important part, guys, go to your symbol folder, find this documents. Uh, where is it? Here. And go to semi hook, double click it. Now for you guys, it's going to be probably input, motion source, DSU1, sir, and there is, there, there is nothing. So what you need to do guys, it's going to, it's going to look like for you like this. I'm going to do like this here now. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to remove it. For you, it's going to look like this. So what you need to do guys is to type in server IP um, space um, and this, this, whatever this thing is. I don't know what it is, right? And then you put the IP address that you have in the motion source app. And the one that I showed you that you put in the pedest as well, it's the one with dub YLAN. And then there is like, then you got the number nine. For me, it's once again, it's 192.168.822. For you, it's gonna be gonna be different. Put it in, and when you're happy with it, click on file and save. Close it. Close this too as well. Go to your SEMU, I put it here in the task bar. And keep in mind that you have to have a sensor connect uh, started and you need to have motion sensor as well. Server, you need to be on, clicked on, and then you're good to go. Now if you go now we go if you go back again and we go on gamepad motion source, it's gonna look like this for you. Start the game. I'm actually gonna disconnect my phone for the purpose of the tutorial. I'm using the Xbox one here. See, right, as you might see, as I move my Xbox controller, now, you see, I don't have any motion control while I'm doing this. But if I pick my phone up, see, of course it's not the most uh, effective way to play it, but, uh, but, but this tutorial, the motion control here on our phone are literally for the dungeons. So there you go, guys works just like a charm we did everything right as i showed you hey it's gonna work right all right guys with that all said i'm gonna get the heck out of here have yourself a good day and barrels keep it cool and stay awesome my name is emo from emo gaming hey bring out of here peace